Hi guys, welcome to this video of shortcuts of boat and streams. Guys, we have already seen time, distance and speed videos and shortcuts which are related with time, distance and speed. And also in the last two videos, I have explained you how exactly to deal with problems which involve boat and streams and how they are different from time, distance and speed problems. In this video, we are going to see shortcuts that can be used, formulas that can be used, which are going to save a lot of effort and time. And you can mug up these formulas, you can buy hard at them and use it while you're, while you're solving your exams so that you can save a lot of time. So guys, let's move to the shortcuts that can be used in boats and streams. So this is the first shortcut that can be used if we do the speed of the boat and the speed of the stream and the time taken to come back and go to a particular to go and come back to a particular point so i am traveling from point a and b here i am traveling from a to b and i'm returning back again the speed of my boat is known the speed of the stream is known and the total time that is required to go from A to B is known. To go from A to B and return back again. So what happens here is I go downstream once and I go upstream once. While going probably I might be going downstream and while returning I am coming upstream. So then the total distance travelled is given by this formula. And the distance between points A and B is given by this formula, which is same as the total distance traveled formula. Just the thing is I divide it by 2 because I am traveling that particular distance twice. So let us see this concept through an example. A man can row at 14 kilometers per hour. So the speed of the boat is given as 14 kilometers per hour. The stream is running at 2 kilometers per hour. So the stream speed is 2 kilometers per hour. It takes him 7 hours to row to a place and come back again. So my T is given as 7 hours. How far is the place? So here we have to find out the distance between A and B. So now the distance between A and B is given by the formula wherein we take the square root. We take the square of the speeds of the individual speeds and we subtract it. So 14 square minus 2 square upon the speed of the boat which is 14 and that I multiply by time. Also I this is the total distance that is travelled but I have just asked the distance between the two points. So I am going to divide it by 2. Now I get 192 divided by 4. So the correct answer is 48 kilometers. So as you can see here I have solved it, solved the question within seconds if I know the right formula. Let's see another concept. If the speed of the boat is given and the speed of the stream is given also uh, we are told, we are asked to find out the average speed for a person, for a boat to go to a particular point and come back, the average speed is given by this formula, which is, if you look carefully, it is same as the previous formula. Just the thing is, we have not multiplied it by t and we have not divided it by 2. So, this is really same as the previous formula. Let's see it through an example. A man can row 14 kilometers per hour in still water. The stream speed is 2 kilometers per hour. Now this is the same question. I have taken the previous question. It takes some 7 hours to row back to a place. I don't require the time. I just want to calculate the average speed. So my average speed is nothing but 14 square which is 196 minus 2 square which is 4 divided by B which is 14. So answer is 192 divided by b which is 14. So the correct answer is 192 divided by 14 kilometers per hour. Now let us see the next problem, next shortcut. 
if a person can row upstream in t1 hours and downstream in t2 hours so in this case we are given the time that is taken by a person to go upstream and to come downstream the speed of the stream is also given and we have to find out the speed of that particular man so what do we do if we want to find out the speed of the boat or speed of the man and we are given the speed of the stream as well as the time taken for him to uh, go downstream and upstream then we just add the two times in the numerator we just add the time taken by him to go downstream and upstream in the numerator we take the difference between the two times in the denominator and we multiply it with the speed of the stream so let us see through an example Sonu can row a certain distance in 8 hours. So my T1 here is 8 hours and return in 12 hours. So she is returning in 12 hours. So this is obviously my downstream time and this is my upstream time. The stream speed is 8 kilometers per hour. And we are asked to find out the speed of Sonu or the speed of boat. So the speed of sonar speed of boat is given by I just add these two timings in the numerator 8 plus 12 is 20 I I subtract these two times 12 minus 8 is 4 and I multiply it with the speed of the stream. So all I get is 40 kilometers per hour. So the correct answer is option number B. So, in boat and streams, we have seen three formulas which are very important and which will reduce your time and effort if you buy hard them. I would suggest, please do buy hard these formulas. Don't sit in the exam and derive these formulas. Just mug it up so that you can use it when the question, when the, uh, requ when the question requires you to use these formulas. With this, I end up this video. Stay tuned to our channel for next upcoming videos. All the best. Thank you.